Hi, this is Justice. In this video, we're going to be talking about stencils. So stencils, we can find by going to Window and clicking here on Stencils. We can move this window around the same way as we would anywhere else. We can dock it and put it right next to Layers if we'd like. We're going to go ahead and switch to it. We're going to grab the name, that blue name Stencils, and we're going to drag it back out while we examine this here in the beginning. So we're going to grab the turtle and bring it out onto the screen. Now, with the watercolor brush selected, I'm going to go ahead and paint. And let's go ahead and choose a different color. I'm going to tap on the stencil and drag it out of position so we can look here at what we've done with the stencil. So stencils is going to basically create a mask that we can't paint over. Let's create a, another turtle right over here. And here we're going to draw right outside of the stencil. And you can see that by default that you can draw right outside of this masked area. If you'd like to block that from happening, you can use this little hamburger menu, horizontal three lines, and turn on border. That'll restrict you to painting just inside of this clear area here in the center. Now you can make the stencil active or inactive by turning off show hide stencils. Let's go ahead and turn that off. You can see that we can paint right directly over the top. If we want to keep it active while it's invisible, you can turn on that option. This one is called Keep Stencils Active When Hidden. So let's go ahead and show that again and go through some of the properties here in this little widget. So this right here is going to let you scale. If you want to scale where it is not locked to an aspect ratio, you can turn on and off lock size ratio. Uh, let's go ahead and restore it back. And then this is going to allow us to move little pan icon and rotate with the rotate icon. Inside of this menu, you can invert, you can flip uh, horizontally and vertically. That's vertical, that's horizontal. He does like a little dance. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, yeah, it's a turtle, of course. Uh, put vertical and tile. Tile is going to give us an option of tiling the entire screen with this stencil pattern. And then we can go through and we can just paint everywhere. And we will hide that stencil. And you can see how you can make some really interesting, fun patterns that way. Okay, let's turn off. So you can tap or you can right click on the stencil, the square one around your main image. Hit the hamburger menu and we're going to turn off tile and lock will keep you from being able to move or pan or rotate this stencil entirely. And of course you can remove it with backspace or by clicking here on this remove icon. Let's go ahead and undo a lot of that and go right back to our little dance. <laughs> So let's go ahead and show our stencil again. You can see him right here. And let's add a second stencil and shrink him down and let's flip him and put him up here. And what I want you to see is that we can just turn off the border here. We can have multiple stencils on the screen at the same time. Let's go ahead and paint. Right, let's go ahead and remove this and remove that. And you can see we've got our double turtle. So the stencils aren't just cutouts. You can choose a stencil here like this rectangle, and you'll notice that it is just blocking out a shape. We have the option of inverting it, and now it'll do the opposite, and it'll restrict us, it'll restrain us inside of this mask. Let's look at the different ways that we can create stencils. I'm going to go up here to the context menu and you can see here that we have a few options. Create stencils from image file. We can create from a layer, the alpha, which is the pixels that we see, not the ones we don't see. This includes the ability to add opacity inside of our stencils and create stencils from a layer um, or an image on that layer. And we can also create stencils from selection. We'll go through each of these. Let's start by creating a stencil from the layer using alpha. So let's select our turtle again. So here we're going to 
what we did before, we're going to go ahead and paint in just a little bit. All right, now we have our turtle. Let's add a little bit of water to this because I would like to show something to you. You can see our water, use the blow tool. So we have some varied opacities. And then let's make this side very opaque. We're going to remove this. And now we have our image that we created with a regular stencil. It has a variety of capacity levels. The alpha on this differs from section to section. So we're going to go over here to the context menu and we're going to create a stencil from the alpha. And you can see here how this looks. So our more opaque areas here on the left, when we paint in here, it's going to let the color go through fully. These areas on the right will not do so as much. We're going to go ahead and choose the pastel here. The wet media will diffuse and a lot of our alpha, a lot of the purpose of that alpha will get lost with a diffusion. So we're going to go here and just kind of go right over the top. And let's move this. You can see, you can see here on this side how much darker it is, how much color is let through. And then on this side over here, you can see these areas are more transparent and you can see the alpha really working here. Let's go ahead and take this and we're going to put a stencil that does not have alpha. We're going to go right over the top the same way. And we'll remove that and you can see the effects of the alpha here. No alpha effects over here. Alpha turtle, non alpha turtle. If you run into a gang of rogue wild turtles, fight this turtle first. Let's go ahead and create a new stencil from the layer image. So this is going to create a cutout. So you can see what would happen if we started painting over the top is it would block out it would block out the image that we just have up here. Now notice that there is opacity here. So when we turn this off, you can see that there is color that is going through. Now, if we invert this, invert, and go over the top, it's not gonna behave exactly the same way inverted. So here you're gonna notice that we did not get color bleed. It protected all of the alpha of the masked area. But when we have it here, it did pull the transparency through into that new stencil. Let's choose the selection tool and we're going to choose freehand. Let's make a selection here, a beautiful tree, not an arrow. And we're going to choose here and we're going to choose here, create stencil from selection. All right. So we have our stencil now and we can fill it in with some color. And if we want to create a group of just our stencils, what we can do is we can right click here. We choose add group and we can move that stencil down into the group. We can, we can minimize these different selections so that you can easily keep track and group the stencils that you want to use. Let's go ahead and make a new stencil from an image file. And this is going to use the opacity of the image to create something really cool. So we're going to put this on here. Now, I'm going to add a border so we don't paint outside and I'm using the airbrush. If we use one of the wet media, again, this is going to diffuse and we're going to lose the effect of the opacity. We can actually add a couple colors here. And let's go ahead and turn this off and you can see what type of effect you can make with an image and a stencil. All right, you guys, that's it for this video on stencils. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, put it in the comment section. And until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.